So the deal is done. We got both parties back in their home country. Brittany is back in the U.S. I believe she went to Texas or something like that. Anyway, Victor, a.k.a. the man known by the Merchant of Death, is back in Russia. We got video, video, video. He is on video speaking on several topics. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Okay, before we get into this first interview, you got to understand something. The person who's interviewing him, this is Maria Butner. Maria Butner was actually charged in the U.S. She basically was acting as a foreign agent, at least that's what the United States was claiming. She was ruffling feathers and she was trying to get in on a lot of people, good side with the National Rifle Association, so the NRA. After she was in with the NRA, she started ruffling feathers and getting close to people in the Republican Party, Trump's party, and, you know, a lot of people close to power, all right? She was charged. She was sentenced. Before she was actually sentenced, she took a plea deal. They was going to give her, like, five years or something like that. She ended up getting 18 months. She got 18 months, then they deported her back to Russia. She's back in Russia. She's big stuff now. So as you can see, she's leading this interview. Now, if you saw my first video... First video speaking on the merchant of death. This guy knows like a ton of language. I believe he was like a linguist in Russia. So yeah, this is in English. But anyway, get in the comments section. If I'm wrong about something, correct me down in the comments. Do you hate America? No. You know, in fact, I know many inmates. I figure out we're sharing way more common. Man Do you hate Americans? Do you hate America? No. Actually, we have a lot of things in common. Interesting. I guess after you do like 12 years in American prison, it does have an effect on you. Maybe America is very much similar. Look, it's the same size. They have a, it's the same kind of this. And when you talk to them, there is nothing there even to beef about. We are naturally, you know, born not to be enemies. And whenever there's conflict, it's elites. You know, every you know, American I met in a prison who is uh, from rural area was very easy to deal with. You know, I can agree with, with one part of what he said at the beginning. He was like, even though I'm from Russia, we share a lot of things in common. We don't really naturally hate each other. I believe that to be true. You saw when Trump was in power, he was able to uh, at least be on speaking terms with Putin, where you had presidents before Biden. Obama, they really weren't on speaking terms for whatever reason. I think it's just interesting to see that he decided to start getting into interviews the first day he'd been back in this country. He hasn't even been out for 24 hours. I wonder when we're going to hear from Brittany. That's going to be interesting as well. And we're talking about somebody who did 12 years. He did 12 years in American prison, and he still had time left. He has no problem with Russia, and he was curious about Russia, despite all propaganda. They're losing their Christian values. They're losing their families. They're losing literally their country. See, this is deep what he's speaking on. Being that he was in prison for so long, he's saying that he learned so much about Americans and other people, foreigners who were in American prisons. He said that we shared a lot of things in common and we naturally didn't hate each other. He said that he knows from seeing what's going on and how it affected the people who were actually in prison that literally families, traditions, different things that are just established in America are being destroyed. And I think that's partly true. We got to listen to a little bit more, though. It's not anymore the same country. We knew America, who used to be a model for entire world and lead and be an example, you know, like they say, a shiny town on the, you know, sparkling town on a hill. This guy knows a lot about America. 12 years, sparkling house on the hill. He got close. He didn't get it right, but he got it close. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think on that. Do you think that here in America, we're losing a lot of our values? Do you think that we're losing a lot of our morals, a lot of our traditions? Get in the comment section. There's a lot of things that are different, even from 20 years ago, let alone 40 years ago, 60 years ago. A lot of things have changed. Some for the better, a lot for the worse, though. And this is, of course, pity. It was a strong 
country who was really a, you know, industrial might, you know, this one, and look for 30, 40 years. Deindustrialization, drug problem, crime waves. You can understand, and I feel more empathy to American after this experience than I would feel any hate. What would you know what? Let me let me rewind that a bit. Don't don't get confused though. Don't get confused. It's easy for somebody to have an interview and spit some good game. You know, it's easy for him to have a discussion and talk about the things that he learned while he was incarcerated. That doesn't change anything about what he went to prison for. Matter of fact, let me repeat that. That doesn't change anything for what he went to prison for. This guy basically facilitated different conflicts all around the globe. Even in The Lord of War, the movie that was played by Nicolas Cage, the fictional character that was based on the entire movie, this guy, like I said, he facilitated a lot of violence around the globe. He literally was dubbed the Merchant of Death because... He transported weapons, planes, missiles, bombs, you name it. He financed and delivered weaponry for wars all over the globe. Militias in Congo, Angola, Libya, you name it. I believe also in Afghanistan, correct me if I'm wrong, which means what? He sold weapons to the Islamic State. What would you consider as the most important event of the years that you have spent in prison. Uh, which event, sir? I got to rewind that. Uh, I, she was speaking. <laughs> Couldn't really catch that at all. Then I would feel any hate. What would you consider as the most important event of the years that you have spent in prison? Uh, which event, sir? Uh, international? Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe international. 2014. Oh, okay. Why? Well, it's, I guess, uh, would be in history as a turning point. It's a turning point of Russia. Finally, stand up out of the knees. Proud, strong. 14 years ago, when you were, if you would have known that it's going to happen with you, I mean, you're going to spend 14 years. Take a look at her title. Head, RT's. We Don't Leave Ours Project. RT stands for Russian Television, I believe. Interesting title. We Don't Leave Ours. He was not left. He'd been in prison in America for 12 years, and they still made it a top priority to have him swapped out for an American. Away from your family, from your motherland, would you have, uh, would you do something differently in your life? It's difficult to live on the callings of your heart. But if you listen in your heart, no, you know, yes, you're going to, sometimes you get into trouble, but you never betrayed yourself. You know, and this inner peace gives you enough strength to go through everything. Hmm. Wow. You heard what he said. Basically, she asked him, would he reconsider anything that he's done in his past and you know considering that he'd been in prison for so long and he said no his inner peace knowing that he did what was in his heart he wouldn't change it basically that comment makes me think that he's gonna get back to business as normal let me know what y'all think do y'all think that the merchant of death victor bout is going to stop is he done did 12 years change him or do you think he's gonna get back to business as normal why because you don't have a conflict inside of you. Doesn't matter what. You have peace and tranquility because you trust in your heart. You trust in callings of your blood. You trust in, and you're never fighting who you are. He doesn't regret anything that he's done. He said he wouldn't change it. It sounds like, to, it sounds like business is normal if you ask me. The merchant of death gave the deuces to the United States and now is back in Russia. I think it's interesting how much interaction he had with others in prison because it sounds like he has a deep understanding of a lot of the things that in America has just changed for the worse. He mentioned the drug problem. He mentioned a lot of other things related to differences that have impacted the other prisoners that he had interactions with while he was in prison. Yeah.